Okay. So here's the deal with the future form bottom. So imagine this is a surfboard and here's your V bottom. So the stringer is the board's upside down, the string is sitting up higher than the rail. There's your there's your board with a full V bottom all the way through the board. So what I've done is I've taken that V that runs from the nose of the tail of the board, but as it comes down through the tail, it sits into this concave around the sort of starts around about halfway um, and intensive wise around the fins and so technically it's still a V because the the ridge of the V is still sitting up higher than the concave so technically it's still a V bottom through the whole board but it's sitting in this dropped concave and this is where the magic is is, is that you get all this beautiful rail to rail transition of the V and the flexibility and the wide range of turns that the concave doesn't offer but then you get all this drive and spark out of the concave that the V doesn't offer. And so by bringing them together, it's just been this fantastic marriage. Um, and honestly, for me, it's like the most significant design breakthrough I've, for the last 25 years in my boards, so that's for sure, you know. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps you to sort of understand the concept of, of what we're doing with this future form bottom where we've married the V into the concave.